Uh, we are back here on the Now Morning Show. Lisa, you caught me putting on my earpiece. <laughs> but it's all good because, you know, we're just so natural here on this show, right, Carrie? Exactly. All the time. <laughs> now, a few weeks ago, we started talking about party drugs. And uh, it was so intriguing and so much information that we invited Michel Nassiu, Deputy Director of the Forensic Science Center, yes, Ministry of right. National Security, back on the set to talk about uh, some of these drugs. Welcome back to the program. Thank you very much. And, oh, you know, um, it was so compelling because there's so many drugs. You said 23 different types different yes. types of drugs yes. on the market. And now that we're going into the Christmas carnival season, the partying season, yes. um, I think it's important for us. And then when you send the photographs of those uh, drugs, I know some parents probably have no idea right. what they look like. And yes. I wanted to share that with you because if you see it in your children's, you know, drawers or, you know, in their bags or so, at least you could know what they they look yes. like. Yes. Um, what, I want to start with this question, though, because we had a big discussion this morning in our planning meeting, and uh, some, of the, some of the guys are under the impression that, you know, what's the difference between this and, let's say, OTC or, you know, drugs from the pharmacy? Mm -hmm. If I have to study, if I have to, if I have to pump <laughs> for three days, you yes. know, what's, so, what's the big deal about these drugs? Well, this ecstasy drug, also called MDMA, that's the mm -hmm. active ingredient, it's not registered for use in Trinidad and Tobago by the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it can be seized. It's not registered for use. There's no medical use for ecstasy. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, uh, because of how um, prevalent it's becoming, it's being placed as a dangerous, under, under the Dangerous Drugs Act, it's going to be placed there now so that it will be legal to possess it. Okay. Uh, and it, is, it is in the same category as cocaine and marijuana. Really? That's right. These, these drugs that we're going to be looking at That's here. right, yes. And um, before we go to the slides, uh, what are some of the symptoms? Last time we weren't able to talk about some of the symptoms that parents could look forward, could look at and yes. say, you know, maybe I should be thinking about it's, something here. It's very important to know that ecstasy is a stimulant, so it's going to raise your core temperature, yeah? So you'll find that you'll be dehydrated, so they'll be drinking lots of water. They'll be restless. They will be sleepless. But also... Uh, one of the side effects is that you're going to be grinding your teeth. So you'll find that you will be sucking lollipops a lot just to relieve that sensation of grinding your teeth mm -hmm. um, and, and drinking lots of water, as we said, because you're going to be dehydrated. So there's a little clues you can look at okay. um, for identifying that somebody is on this substance. All right. So let's look at some of the photographs of some of the uh, pills that are out there. Yes. And this one... On the screen. Okay, so this one is the one that uh, we identified last time. This is Zessa. So it's also called John Wick. It's also called the, the Breaking Bad yes. blue pill. Uh -huh. um, so that is the guy from Breaking Bad. And you can see the logo for Breaking Bad. Yes. And the Zessa looks almost exactly the same. So okay. we're, we're actually pulling away the curtain a little bit from forensic to show you what's going on. That one is a Heineken. So is so, it that they, they're trying to look like a product that's on the market? That's right. They, they, okay. They're appealing to different um, persons. Mm -hmm. So you'll see, uh, you'll see drinks, you'll see money, you'll see cartoons and so on to appeal to someone. So these that we're seeing, Heineken pills, these are look the, the like champagne. the champagne. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, Don Perry, you know, champagne. And they're pretty small pills um, so that you can appeal to the persons who like champagne, as mm -hmm. opposed to the persons who like yes. Heineken, as opposed to the persons who like Red Bull as well. Right. So, but it could I, almost anything be that's trending. Though. You, you like understand? The, yeah. it's, it's, and it's colorful yeah. as well, so that um, so we have some that look like cartoon characters. This one, we're not too sure if it's actually Ned Flanders from um, Bad Simmons or if it's Pablo Escobar. Right. So you, we have to, uh, to really. Uh, look at the logos and then try to identify, you know. Yes. Um, these are all the cartoon ones that we've seen in Trinidad. This is the, the Punisher from the Marvel comic books. So clearly these are going to be targeting younger age I was persons. I thinking that, yes. Um, it will appeal to them. Mm -hmm. um, we have one that looked like, I said this one, Donkey Kong. This mm -hmm. is from the Ice Age movie. Mm -hmm. um, again, appealing to a younger crowd. Mm -hmm. They're going to think it's sweets mm -hmm. or candy, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so we've seen like, like yes. three or four different ones. This mm -hmm. is Julius um, the monkey. This is the minions, Bob the minion. So again, they'll look at it and they'll, they, it gives a false sense of it being safe. Yes. Yeah. 
These are more high fashion ones. Montclair is an Italian fashion designer. Um, so you have uh, these tablets that are going to appeal to the persons who want to identify with high fashion. This is uh, and Philip, are, Philip Plein. This is another Italian fashion designer. And so these are all ecstasy based? These are that? all ecstasy based, confirmed as containing ecstasy mm -hmm. by the um, lab at the center. And, yeah. and what would be the um, what would be the outcome of taking some of these drugs? You would the you side would, effects. The side effect would be that you'll be in a stimulated state, so you'll be sleepless, you'll be aroused mm -hmm. as well, you'll be up four to six hours. So that's why it's, it's usually used to keep persons awake or to enjoy yourself in a party. Right. Um, what would be the consequence of overdose of uh, the MDMA based drugs? Persons have died. Because the dose is so strong, the usual dose is about 150 milligrams. You'll see some that are 300 milligrams. Mm -hmm. So your heart will basically uh, fail because it's gone into an uh, irregular heartbeat and you get cardiac arrest. So, so, while you, died. so while you think that you are stimulated and you, you know, your yeah. adrenaline is rushing. And you're having a good time. you're having a good time <laughs> yes. and it's nonstop. Yes. The consequence could be death. That's right. And have we had that here in Trinidad? Tobago? We haven't seen it in Trinidad as yet. Um, we've, knock on wood, um, but they have been linked to that internationally, mm -hmm. in the UK in particular, mm -hmm. and in Germany. Mm -hmm. yeah? And those tablets are in Trinidad right now. You'll see in one of the pictures that I'm going to show, yes, we have, the, have. Top, the top two. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, pills that, again, I said 23 different types. Right. Those that look like money, those that look like gold bars, again, appealing to... Whatever meets your fancy, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and how small? Identify. We can't tell, but uh, how small uh, are these pills in size? I try to like put a ten cent piece. Or I so? try to put one centimeter. I try mm -hmm. to put a ruler next to some of them so you right. see. Ah, so, okay, that's what that. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this one is Kim Jong Un, the mm -hmm. North Korean president. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Um, that he would be there, and there's a radioactive symbol on the pill. So why would you take a pill that has a radioactive symbol on it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, of course, Donald Trump has a feature in one of the pills, the orange one. We also have a purple one. And the purple one in particular is the one that, that's the purple one that we've seen. This is the one that is the strongest, identifies the strongest in the market so far. Yes. Um, and you're seeing these in the schools as well? We've seen them. Uh, schools, um, the police have seized them from homes because they, they think they're vitamin tablets. Ah, yeah? okay. um, this one now is going to appeal to more detect. And, and male um, mm -hmm. population because it's a Tesla, so it's a, a electric car, mm -hmm. high high flying uh, electric car. Do you know um, what the cost is for the cost range for these drugs are I heard on average? I heard it's fifty dollars or even the Zesta may be a little more expensive for one. For one, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's profitable. Techno Gym is another one. It's a um, a sports um, fitness uh, manufacturer. Mm -hmm. um, again, the techie ones. This one is not so good. This is a SIM card. Um, there's a SIM card stamped on the on the pill. Right. And and as we we speak about the two most dangerous ones. Yes. Um, those are the Superman and is it the Superman pill that is the actually, most dangerous I was, one? Actually, no. The the um, we have different categories of danger, if you right. can say. Yeah. So for the ecstasy tablet, the techno gem that we just saw and the purple. Donald Trump. Those okay. are the strongest, so they're going to be the ones that you want to avoid. Right. You want to avoid all of them. Yes. But that's the only ones you're going to avoid because those could go to, to death. But we have new ones that we're seeing on the market for the very first time. Never detected in Trinidad before. We're seeing ecstasy, not ecstasy, methamphetamine. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing, um, it's a class of drug called catenones. Right. It's, it's really bad salt in normal language. Right. Um, but Persons are taking them thinking that is ecstasy. Ah. Yes, because you don't know what you're getting in the pill. Yeah? And highly addictive, as we said, totally dangerous because you don't know how you're going to react to it. Methamphetamine is 10 times the potency of cocaine. I was just going to ask you if it's a migration uh, drug. And we're seeing a chart here now. That's you want right. to explain this? So this chart is the, um, in the UK, they take the tablets that you're seeing in the market yeah. and they um, test them and rank them top 10. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the, um, the ones that I have, the, the, you're seeing how much ecstasy they contain. Right. And then you're seeing the top two, the Purple Trump and the, um, the Techno Gym, top two in strength already in Trinidad. Mm. We are seeing five out of those 10 
the Purple Donald Trump, the Techno, the Blue Punisher, the Donkey Kong, the QP, the Orange, yes. they're all in Trinidad already. Out of the top 10, we already have six of yes. them in yes. Trinidad. So, so we it's, want it's a source of concern. So we want parents and friends and so to be aware. That's yeah, right. If you see these pills and if things you want like to, 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 to identify it, it identify it immediately yeah. that this is not uh, a pill that is vitamin. It's, mm -hmm. it's ecstasy. Yeah. What about DMT? We were speaking about DMT the last time. Yeah, you did talk so, yes. about DMT. Yeah. It is a common, um, a common drug used um, previously. It's an extract from a, a, a plant and it's a hallucinogen, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's plant-based, it's natural-based, but it is still a drug that yes. you should avoid because it's going to cause hallucinogen. Ah, okay. yes. Are there other side effects to that drug in particular? Um, all the usual side effects that will occur with a hallucinogen, so you want to avoid driving if you're using it, for right. example. Uh, you want to be uh, mindful of drugs on a whole become addictive. And you go from being a public health problem to a national security problem because you will venture down into the road of whatever you have to do to get, to, them. To get them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we want to thank you so much for coming and sharing this oh. information with us. I'm, I'm grateful that you have me so I can educate and, and show the public what they need to avoid. Yes. Thank yes? you so much. Michelle Nasir, the Deputy Director, Acting of the Trinidad and Tobago Forensic Science Center, Ministry of